Hi guys, Christian here from the MCI Trading Academy, bringing you another stock market analysis for the week ahead. And I just wanted to start off with the economic calendar and look at and point your attention to Wednesday, the 13th of July. Now, on Wednesday, we have a very important news announcement, which is the CPI data in the US. Now, this is inflation data. And as you guys know, inflation is a very, very hot topic at the moment. OK, so everyone will be watching this very, very closely. Now, let me take your attention to what happened in the last previous inflation data in, uh, results. OK, so going back the last three months, which is April, May and June, you can see that inflation was higher than expected. OK, now looking at let's look at um, the US 500, the S&P and see how that how the higher than expected reading ha what meant for the stock market okay so if we are to look at uh let's start with the first month which is april okay we can see that following the cpi data we had a 2.16 drop on the s p next in may okay following the cpi the higher than expected cpi data we have a 5.14 percent drop on the s p lastly okay last month following the cpi data which was the highest in 40 years okay we had a 9.87 percent drop on the s p okay now let's look at the consensus for this month and we can see that we have uh, a forecast of 8.8%. Now, if we get a reading that is higher than 8.8%, does that mean that we are going to have a big crash on the S&P? Well, let me take your attention to this chart here, okay, uh, which was updated last Friday. So this is a chart of asset managers and hedge, hedge fund uh, positioning as of last Friday and you can see that they are the most bearish they've ever been okay on record on the stock market okay so they've, they've opened the, the, the highest short positions that they've ever done on the S&P going into the CPI data uh, announcement next week does it mean that they know something that we don't or does it mean that they're just opening up covers in case uh, the reading is higher than expected? Now, let me just take your attention to this quote over here from Warren Buffett, which says that we should be fearful when others are greedy and we should be greedy only when others are fearful. Now, as you can see here from this other chart, OK, just going back to it. All the asset managers and hedge funds are fearful, very, very fearful, I must say. OK, does that mean we need to start being greedy and start opening up uh, long positions on the stock market? Maybe. OK, that's a question for you to answer. OK, now let's go into uh, the charts and see what happened last week and what could perhaps happen this week. Now let's look at the S&P 500. OK, so if we start with the weekly time frame, we can see here that we had quite a bullish week to start off with. Now we had the bullish week, a green week on low volume. Why low volume? Because Monday was a holiday in the US and most likely it seems that a lot of asset managers and so on, they've taken a, a couple of days off. Uh, which means that there weren't a lot of uh, big players participating in the rally last week. Now, what does it mean for the week, the upcoming week? Well, last week we had a narrowing channel, okay, uh, on the S&P here, and we broke the narrowing channel, and now we are heading on to this big trend line here, which acted as big resistance, okay. So what I'm expecting for the week, what I'm looking at for the week is for us to break. OK, so if we break this trend line, OK, I expect for price to go 
higher okay into this IC here okay into into this four hour IC here okay so actually first I would like it to go into this uh, two hour IC here okay and then perhaps come lower retest this trend line and then go higher the following week okay now that is only the case if the CPI data is lower than expected okay if it's higher than expected then we most likely will break uh, will come to retest those lows here and if we are to lose those lows okay this if we are to go lower than this support that we have here on the S&P then it's most likely that we'll be start going and seeing new lows on the S&P now guys this week we have the upper expected move at 3981 and the lower expected move at 3791 and as you know 68% of the time the price will close at the end of the week within this expected move okay so what I'm expecting for the week if we do see a lower CPI reading is for price to come break this trend line come all the way up here into this 4 hour IC consolidate and then come down to retest the, the trend under they broke uh, and close the week below the upper expected move. Now that is not to say that if we do get a very low reading on the CPI data, okay, we may see a big rally, okay, uh, and then a lot of uh, big players have to cover the shorts from here and they will have to get long positions which means that they may push the price all the way up into this four hour IC okay now if we do come here at any point during next week now this will be a very good opportunity to sell and aim for new lows why because overall we are still bearish on the market guys there's still a lot of negative things on the economy uh, and there's nothing to go full bullish at this point next Let's go into the US 100 and let's start with the weekly time frame here and just see what happened last week. Now last week you can see that price stuck perfectly, okay, the 200 weekly EMA, tagged it and then started rallying off from there, okay, to finish the week very, very bullish. If we look at the uh, daily time frame we can see that we actually on the on the Nasdaq we did break the trend line we did break the trend line here okay so we this chart looks very very bullish and we are heading into some overhead resistance from the 50 EMA here now what I'm expecting on this chart here okay is that we'll see some some weakness to start the week you can see that we are building divergences on the four hour time frame so I wouldn't be surprised for price to come back lower, fill this IPA and then perhaps consolidate within this IC here. And then if the CPA data comes in positive, okay, which is lower than expected, then we could see a rally going all the way up in this four hour IC, what I expect to have a big short positions from, okay? Because again, as I mentioned before, we are still bearish on this market. Next. Let's look at the DAX, the Germany 40. Okay. Now on here, okay, as we mentioned last week, okay, we are very, we are spot on on this chart, guys. So if you just going back, if you haven't watched last week analysis, make sure you go back and and check that out because we are spot on on the DAX here. Okay. So we mentioned last week, okay, uh, and let's just start with the weekly time frame for a second, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, go back to uh, last week in a second. Now, how do we close the week? Well, we close the week very, very bullish here with the bullish uh, hammer. Now, what happened during the week? Well, during the week, okay, we went down, uh, made a new low here, uh, just about, just to clear some liquidity that was left here, okay? Then we rallied off. Now, last week we did mention that we may see lower lows and I was expecting for us to, to come up to this 4 hour IC where I was expecting to short from there. What price did? Well, it didn't actually go all the way up there. What it did, it made a new lower low just below here. Okay, just from here onwards it made a new lower low. However, as it made a new lower low, it went all the way up and created a break of structure. 
Now, because we have a break of structure, we are now bullish short term on this chart, okay? And the weekly time frame with the bullish uh, hammer helps us very, very much on that. Okay, so now what I'm expecting on here, I'm expecting for price to come back down, okay? To start the week off, you can see the divergences that are building on here. So I'm expecting for price to either come up to this one hour IC or to this one hour IC, where we can have a long positions and I will target, okay, this four hour IC here, okay, as take profit. Why that? We have still have some IPA on here, okay, so we're expecting for price to come here, consolidate, and then at that point we think about uh, placing a short position, okay, and going for new lower lows. Next, let's start look and look at the uh, US dollar for a second. So guys, the US dollar is very, very strong at the moment, okay? It's the strongest it's been since 2002. So it's very, very strong at the moment. Now, one thing that we are seeing on the US dollar, we are, sti we are starting to see some divergences that are building on the weekly time frame, which means that the uh, momentum of the buyers is slowing down, okay? So if what I'm saying is that we may start seeing some pullback in the US dollar in the next couple of weeks. And if we do see that, that will create a good a good uh, buying opportunity for equities, for indices, okay? So watch out for that. Also, that will also help gold, okay? Which we'll be looking at in a second. So on gold here, what we did have, we did have this narrowing channel, okay? That was broken at the beginning of, uh, last week okay consolidated there for a while and then a big push down going into this one day ic and now we are starting to consolidate here so what i'm expecting now i'm expecting price to go higher okay so if we see a weaker dollar that will help gold push up gold perhaps to retest this channel where we can think about placing a short position, aiming for lower lows. Uh, same we can say on EURUSD. Now the EURUSD is at its lowest, not surprisingly, going back to 2002. Now, price has come down where? Right into this one month IC that was created in 2002. Now, what we're starting to see here Okay, we're starting to see some sort of consolidation that is happening and a bullish hammer, which is placing a good bet for price to go higher in the short term on to this 8 hour IC. So if we do see price pushing up, if we see the dollar being weaker, okay, in the next couple of weeks, we may see Euro USD, Euro USD pushing higher uh all the way to this ic so we'll fill this ipa and stay in this ic consolidate there where we can perhaps place a short positions uh short position aiming for lower lows on euro usd next just looking at the bitcoin chart here guys so we mentioned last week okay that price is at the critical level which is playing, uh, consolidating just above this trend line here. And I did mention that if we are to lose this trend line here, okay, we'll go all the way down to around 12,000, 12,500, okay, uh, where I will expect to expect a lot of buyers to be sitting, uh, which will push the price all the way high, uh, higher. Now, this is correlated with the NASDAQ. Okay, so if we do see a lower CPI reading, okay, on Wednesday, most likely, okay, we will see um, Bitcoin push higher. Okay, now if we do see a lower, C uh, uh, sorry, a, a higher CPI reading, so just go back. So if we see a lower CPI reading, the stock, uh, the price of Bitcoin may go higher. If we see a, a higher CPI reading, okay, we may see this trend line being broken okay and i wouldn't be surprised for price to come all the way down here to 12,000 12,500 literally just touch it 
and then there will be a lot of buyers that will push the price all the way up okay so don't don't expect price to come here and consolidate because i don't think that will happen okay if price does come here there will be a lot of buyers waiting to buy at that lower price okay so most likely will come touch it and then big bounce up if it does happen that's it from me this week guys thank you very much make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel we have a lot of new content coming in in the next couple of weeks so make sure you don't miss out on that and make sure you uh, follow us on instagram uh, where you can also message us to inquire about our mentorship courses thank you very thank you very much guys and catch you up on the next one bye for now